Hello and welcome back to the channel guys and here is my Hognet Miami and this uh, is a female which was sold to me as a mature female and quickly here is my mature male which is definitely matured so we're going to have a look at these as a species. Okay so just going to collect the mature male here these are very easy to manipulate and um, move from one enclosure to the other they're very very slow moving but can have quick speeds uh quick bursts of speed so i'm just going to pick him up what's happening what are you doing yeah. oh my god he's quite chilled yeah he's very chilled good thing to what you're doing dude Whoa! Okay, not so chilled. She did instant prep, prep pose. Did she attack him? She's. Did you get that I, one there? Yeah, I did, but I don't know what happened. She's proper fret pose. Not happy about that at all. That was so quick. <laughs> like, what the crap just happened? I know that you ran straight at her, so you didn't give her a chance. Uh, I don't even know where he went. My eye couldn't see it, it was so fast. But she's well peed off. <laughs> that was a good shot. Okay, so that looked worse than actually it was. He just ran out over some speed, they jumped around, and then um, he's run away. So she didn't actually bite him. We have thoroughly checked. Um, the reason we weren't there between them is because they are very, very chilled. Um, but that was a bit unexpected. So um, I'm going to show you more clips now of a few weeks later and show you what happened from there. Okay, so this has been, I'd say, four weeks after the last clip you saw. And with these, they don't act like the um, tarantulas. So they're slightly different. And I'll try to find as much information as I can on how to pair these. Um, but because they don't lay webs and um, sometimes they can do a burrow because she's done one under there and you can see the slight hole she's done there um, but since she she only uses a burrow for molting so as you can see she's a different color it's the same spider but she's a different color from when she was before so now she's fully mature and she's got the gray colors of the uh, Hog and Miami wolf spider so the male is still there, we need to talk about that in a second. But as with the pheromones, male tractions pick up off the females when they go uh, focus, um, stand on the webs, and then that will instigate them into starting to do some tapping and stuff like that. Uh, start to do some tapping, uh, some drumming. With these spiders, I did manage to find some information and seen some other videos with these, and the male seems to find the burrow and literally just rush her. They just run over the top of the head of the female and then put their pedipalps round the side at the back. So it's a bit of a different position um, to what the tarantulas do. But the one I saw, he just rushed the female. So as in the previous clip, you saw he rushed her. They have excellent vision, these wolf spiders, and I mean excellent vision. So whether it was a mistake by him or he actually rushed into her, um, and went off because I've been watching um, sorry about the camera I've been watching these very closely for the past couple of weeks so I can try and um, pair these together and um, I've managed to have them in the enclosure they sit next to each other they walk past each other they're absolutely not bothered whatsoever but if he runs at her quite fast then she gets defensive and she um, gives him a slight warning um, they constantly try and escape out of the enclosure, but they're not great at climbing plastic. Um, but I managed to pair, I think, successfully. You can see he's matured over his pedipalps. Um, they're extremely good with their eyesight, as I said before. He did strike me um, the last time as well when I put them together and had to remove them. But what I found easier to do with this is I left them together for some time and I'll see if I feel to feed them in a second. I left them together for some time, but kept an eye on them, and they just avoided each other. They would sit next to each other, they would drink together, 
and they just wouldn't be bothered. So I had to leave them overnight for a few days to see if any something happened. And something I think did happen because he's lost a leg. So I think if you can see there. In fact, he's lost two legs. So he lost two legs, so he's lost one each side. So they were obviously grappling. But since then, the malt, she is acting a little bit different. She's constantly walking around, whereas before I've noticed the months I've had her, she wouldn't. And you can see her previous malt there. She looks different color completely. She's not darkening up. She's staying the gray color, which is the signs of the um, of the Miami, but her abdomen's getting slowly and slowly bigger and I'm not feeding her, she's not taking any food. So I'm gonna try and feed her now to see if she will take, but the last time she refused food. So this is looking like a good sign, but I wanted to get the pairing on camera, which I've not managed to do. But um, I know probably some people will comment in the comments below about how I put them together, but every time I put them together, they literally just walked around. They were so calm, so placid. But I think he tried to rush her to get over the top to start the pair and she basically told him no um, because she went into a malt and then malted out as you see there. So she's done all of that and now they've paired successfully and I had them literally in her enclosure over there sat drinking together side by side and of course my camera lost the footage and I would have loved to get to see that but I'm going to show you that but I'm going to just try and feed her and see if she'll take now. Um, I normally feed her on worms, but since she's changed into this mold, she's been completely different. So I think I might try a smaller cricket just to put in, um, just to see if that's a bit easier for her to handle. So the cricket is aware of her. Normally she would just be instantly on it, but no, she's not. There, see, so I think she is um, gravid. I've got no proof to prove it, but just off the behavior, um, she should be hungry. But um, no, she's completely walking away from it. So let's just see if I can offer that up to the male. So if I get uh, any more size out of her, because her abdomen is slowly starting to get bigger, um, then, well, if it does get bigger now, I know she's not feeding, so she is gravid. So. I'm hoping this will be good. So I am learning with this because it's true spider, so it's different from tarantulas. So I am learning. So let's see if I can get the male to take. No, and he's not gonna take either. So you can see I've made him quite large. So he's very, very plump, but he is fully matured and he's a very, very dark color. So. Definitely keep everybody updated on the channel on this one. But there we go. So that is my Hogna Miami. So thanks very much for watching.